As God's people of Trinity United Methodist Church, we come together to pray for peace in our world. And we remember that one of the major teachings of Jesus was peace on earth. When we read through the Gospels, we see that whatever Jesus did among his peers, among the population, among the children, was to bring them and extend to them God's reign of peace. We remember that before Jesus was crucified that he met with his disciples and one of the most meaningful things that he extended to them was the salutation of peace. When their world was filled with fear and terror and trauma and before he was to be crucified. Following his crucifixion and his resurrection, he also met with the disciples that were cowered in fear in a locked room, and he was alive. And he extended to them the same salutation that he did before he was crucified. He said, my peace I give to you. And even as Thomas who was doubtful and skeptical. As Thomas came around, Jesus appeared yet again in the same place and extended yet again peace. My peace I give to you. My peace I extend to you in a tangible way. Thomas still doubted and said, unless I see the nail marks in your hand and touch your side, I will not believe. And perhaps he was saying, I will not believe that peace is possible. And yet Thomas touched Jesus, saw he was alive, and knew that peace was possible. Thomas who doubted became Thomas who believed. He is believing Thomas. He is that disciple that we can so relate to. And in our world today, it seems that there is no peace. Each day, sometimes each hour, we experience some sort of new uprising of chaos and of trauma. Most recently, we have experienced this in Israel and in Palestine. As militants have opened fire and taken hostages and killed innocent people. And as Israel has retaliated. This is the land where Jesus walked and extended peace. We as United Methodists believe that swords can be turned into plowshares. We believe that God's intention for the world is for us to see human beings as human beings, to, to know that everyone is created in God's image, that flesh and blood, that eyes and hearts and minds are this beautifully and intricately woven creation of a God who is love. And so we long for peace. We long to believe that peace is possible and that the wolf shall lie down with the lamb and that all people may live together in harmony and through that we may see God's kingdom come. Issues go so deep when things seem to uprise among us because we don't always know the reasons. We don't know full stories, and we certainly don't know all the answers. But we do know that Thomas came to believe that peace is possible. In Caravaggio's painting, The Incredulity of Thomas, he's depicted as reaching his hand down into the hands of Jesus. And massaging Jesus' side. And we expect the face of Jesus to look upon him with 
an I told you so demeanor. But rather, Jesus looks upon him with compassion and with love and with understanding because Thomas finally understood that peace is possible and that Jesus is alive. As Christians, we profess, even in difficult times, that Jesus is alive and that Jesus is the way of peace. Jesus is the way of justice. Jesus is God's love incarnate. And what we hope that you will do in these moments and as a part of this beautiful music is to find a place in your heart that is open to pray for peace, to pray for peace in our community where gun violence still rages on, where families still lack affordable housing, where division seems to take us on each and every day through many aspects. We ask you to pray for peace for our nation, and we ask for you to pray for peace for the whole world, especially those who are most vulnerable, women and children, and persons who have no rights. May God's peace overwhelm us and pave a way for a more just world where God's love is paramount. Amen.